everyone, and welcome to the annual Rat Championship Game! I'm your host, Sugar, and today we will be having six different rats go up against each other to see who is the Rat Basketball Champion! Today's competition will have six different competitors, five different basketball games, and at the very end, one lucky rat will win an entire bag of Cheerios. So before we get started, I want to go ahead and introduce you to the rules along with the competitors, and then we can go ahead and get into the meat of the game. So as far as the rules go, these will be one-on-one -on -one matches with each rat playing for their own team. Now there will be two different rounds, with the first one having three one-on-one -on -one matches, and those three rats competing in the second round to see who is the rat basketball champion. Now that you have the rules down, I want to go ahead and introduce you to our players. Our first player is Peaches, and Peaches is playing the left hoop. Peaches may not be too experienced with basketball, but she really loves this game, and she's expected to do amazing today. Our next player is Coconut, and Coconut will be targeting the right hoop. Coconut is the oldest basketball player competing today, but don't let that fool you. She has more than enough energy to take down any other rat on the court. Our next player is Shmore, and Shmore will be targeting the right hoop. Shmore is absolutely amazing at basketball, despite being one of our newest players, and you can expect to see an incredible performance from her today. Next up, we have Spice, and Spice will be targeting the left hoop. Spice is one of our newest basketball players, but make no mistake, she is amazing on the court and shows quite a bit of natural talent. Next up, we have B and Bean is targeting the left hoop just like Peaches. Bean is our most experienced player and she has razor sharp focus so she is expected to do amazing on the court. And finally our sixth player is Mocha and Mocha will be targeting the right hoop. Mocha is one of our more experienced players and she really enjoys basketball so expect her to rock the court. Okay you now know the rules and you've met our basketball player so let's go ahead and get started. Just one more thing before we can begin the basketball games and that's to spin some random spinners to see who's going to compete against who. Okay, our first spinner has come up as Coconut versus Bean, and our second spinner has come up as Mocha versus Peaches. And that means, of course, that our final pairing is going to be Spice versus S'more. With those pairings out of the way, let's go ahead and get started! First up, we have Bean versus Coconut. Let the match begin! <coughs> and with the sound of the buzzer, they're off. Coconut makes the first hoop, but Bean is quick behind her. Both girls take a quick cleaning break because they need to look their best for this basketball game. Coconut comes in to make her second hoop, and she is successful. Here comes Bean making her second as well, and both girls again stop for a quick cleaning break, just to make sure that they continue to look their best. Coconut now makes a third hoop, and Bean quickly follows behind her. So far it's been an even match, but Bean comes in for the sneak! She makes a fourth hoop, and she is now in the lead. Not to be deterred, Coconut comes in and she makes her fourth hoop as well, but Bean quickly comes up behind her and takes the ball back, making her fifth hoop and putting her ahead of Coconut. Coconut comes back for her fifth hoop as well, but Bean is quick to follow with her sixth. Coconut comes for her sixth as well, but she is still playing the catch-up game. Now comes Bean with her seventh hoop, and Coconut is quick to follow. Bean comes in for her eighth, as does Coconut, but with only five seconds left on the clock, it's anyone's guess who's going to win. Bean manages to sneak in a ninth hoop, and it's game! Now it's time to look at the scoreboard. Bean got nine hoops as opposed to Coconut's eight, meaning that Bean will be the one to move on to round two. Okay, and now we're going to move on to our second match of the preliminary series, and that is between Spice and S'more. And with the sound of the buzzer, they're off! Spice is the first to make a hoop, and S'more is quick to try to follow. But Spice is quicker than that, and she manages to strike a second hoop as well. S'more comes in for her first hoop, and quickly follows up with a second. Both girls take a second to enjoy their treat before Spice is back and making her third hoop. Both girls take a quick snack break to look on the finer side of life before S'more gets back in the game to make her third hoop and Spice, seeing her chance to get into the lead, quickly comes over to grab the ball and make a fourth hoop. Now it's time for S'more to retaliate and she's back in the game to make her fourth as well. Not to be deterred, Spice is back on her A game and she's coming around the corner to grab the ball. She makes her fifth hoop and S'more, noticing a gap, is quick to come and steal the ball back for herself and make her fifth as well. Seeing an opening, S'more is quick to snatch up her sixth hoop, quickly edging ahead of Spice. After a quick snack break, Spice comes in for her sixth as well, hoping to maintain her position. But S'more is too quick for her and she manages to get a seventh as well. S'more comes in for her 8th hoop, and that's game! Now let's check the scoreboard. S'more came in with 8 points as opposed to Spice's 6 points, so S'more will be the one to make it to round 2. Okay folks, so now it's time to move on to the 3rd and final match of our preliminary session. This match will be between Mocha and Peaches. With the sound of the buzzer, they're off! Mocha comes in with an early lead, making the first hoop, and Peaches is quick to follow with a hoop of her own. Mocha seizes her chance for a second hoop, and while Peaches is distracted eating her treat, Mocha is quick to grab her third hoop. Peaches is quick to follow with her second hoop, 
and Mocha is quickly back on the game with her fourth hoop, edging her out quite a ways from Peaches. Mocha comes in for her fifth hoop, giving her a major lead, but Peaches is not to be deterred and quickly comes back with a third hoop of her own. Peaches is back on her A game, and she's coming in for her fourth hoop. Mocha is a bit distracted by her snack, so Peaches got a freebie. Seizing her chance to even the score, Peaches quickly comes in for her fifth hoop while Mocha is distracted. Not to be deterred, Mocha quickly comes in for her sixth hoop, edging ahead again. Peaches comes in for a hoop of her own, and then both girls take a little bit of a break, enjoying their snacks. But with snack time over, Mocha is quick to take the lead again, followed by Peaches evening the score. With both girls now holding an even score, Peaches is quick to jump ahead and grab the last and final hoop, securing her victory and ending this match. Now let's check the scoreboard. Mocha got 7 points as opposed to Peaches 8 points, so Peaches will be the one going on to the second round. Okay, to start our second round, we have Bean, S'more, and Peaches. Before we get started, we need to spin the spinner to see who's going to be competing against who. And it looks like Peaches is going to be competing against S'more. Whichever girl wins that match will go against Bean, and then whichever of those two rats wins is going to be the official rat champion! So without further ado, let's start our match of Peaches against S'more. Good luck to you both! And with the sound of the buzzer, they're off! Peaches starts off strong, making the first hoop, and S'more is quick to follow. S'more comes in for her second hoop as well, taking advantage of Peaches' distraction. S'more manages to strike a third hoop, putting her well in the lead. And while Peaches is distracted, S'more tries to take another hoop, but she is unsuccessful and Peaches makes a hoop of her own. Not to be deterred, S'more quickly comes in and gets another hoop, and while Peaches is distracted looking for the ball, S'more tries to steal it for another hoop. She is unsuccessful and Peaches manages to make another hoop, but S'more is undeterred and comes back to make a hoop of her own. S'more manages to strike double and makes yet another hoop, and Peaches comes and tries to make a hoop, but misses the hoop. She tries again unsuccessfully, and S'more comes and steals the ball, making another hoop of her own. Undeterred by her failure, Peaches is back in the game and goes over and makes yet another hoop. S'more comes over and steals the ball from her, making two quick hoops in succession. With only six seconds left on the clock, there's not much time to turn this game around, but Peaches makes a valiant effort and makes another hoop of her own. S'more comes in to snatch the final hoop, winning her the game. Now let's check the scoreboard. S'more strikes an amazing victory, getting eight points to Peaches four. This means that S'more will be going on to the last and final round of this basketball match against Bean. Okay, folks, get ready to see the final basketball game of this evening. This match will feature Bean the Destroyer, the ultimate champion of rap basketball, against S'more, the up-and-coming newbie that's shown a lot of potential talent. Whoever wins the next match will go down and wrap history. Okay, you ready? Let's begin! And with the sound of the buzzer, they're off! Bean comes in for an early lead, striking the first hoop, but S'more is quick to follow with a hoop of her own. Both girls take a second to save their treat before S'more goes in for a second hoop. Not to be deterred, Bean comes in for a second hoop of her own, and S'more quickly follows with a third. Both girls take a second to savor their treat before Bean decides to go in for a third. Bean is successful on her third hoop, and S'more comes in to take her fourth. Both girls take a few seconds to savor their treats before S'more goes in for a fifth hoop. Bean quickly comes over to get a fourth hoop of her own, trying to catch up to S'more. But S'more is too fast for her and comes in for a sixth hoop, leaning the match in her favor. Feeling confident, S'more takes a second to groom herself, not realizing that Bean across the field is doing the exact same thing. Both girls, in typical ratty fashion, want to make sure that they look the absolute best for their big day. Feeling refreshed, Bean comes to get the ball and make another hoop on her side. But not to be deterred, S'more is back in the game and making a hoop of her own. Bean tries to make one final hoop, but S'more manages to grab the ball and that's game! Now let's check the scoreboard. Bean ended up getting 5 points as opposed to S'more's 8 points, so S'more is officially our winner! And with that, we conclude our Rat Basketball Championship. This year had some really tough competition, but everyone did amazing and everyone got their fair share of treats. The final thing I want to show you is just S'more enjoying her prize. S'more played an amazing Rat Basketball game, and I'm very proud of her, so I think she really earned all these Cheerios. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye!